How do my caregivers make my life worth living? One of the tasks that frustrates me the most is food preparation. Ever since I was a child, I've loved to be in the kitchen preparing food for others. But now, not only can't I prepare food for other people, I can't even make my own foods without experiencing an immense amount of pain in my arms and hands. But my two awesome caregivers help me prepare food. And let me show you how I not only didn't feel like I was missing out on anything by being disabled, I felt like a princess being pampered. One of them offered to make up a batch of fresh pesto for me to enjoy on some pasta. It was awesome. Later in the week, I planned a late birthday celebration with one of my grandkids. When they messaged their favorite cake flavors were raspberry and dark chocolate, I had some inspiration that was far above my present ability level. When my arms gave out, my caregiver was more than ready to take over, and before too long, we were able to bring my imagination to life. Together, we created a raspberry mousse filling for a dense chocolate cake and covered it in dark chocolate. What is something you do not do anymore? Because of disability or pain, do you need help with the basics of self-care? Like dressing yourself, bathing, or preparing food to eat? It isn't a bad thing, even though it can be difficult. To ask for help, caregivers can become like best friends that come into your home and help you be the person you remember being. My caregivers make my life worth living every day.